Hi all, this is um, uh, a finger pick picking session, not exactly a beginner's session, but um, a simple way of picking uh, a tune by picking pairs of strings together. And by picking pairs of strings you get a chord and uh, you can play a sound and a tune that sounds quite pleasant. Um, all of the picks uh, can be played with the thumb and with your um, index finger or as I prefer to, thumb and middle, sometimes with w one pair and then the other pair according to how you feel. Um, it's entirely up to you. But the idea is to play something very, very simple with very, very few chords, very few chord changes. So there are basically four positions in this, three or four positions. So the first position is an F position, which is the one, two part on line one. Right, so that's an F chord. The second one is the pair of threes, and that means that's on the third, pre third fret on the G string and the E string. And then there's the open chord on the, uh, the C string and the A string. That's the, sec uh, the first and the third. And then the last chord that we have is on line two. The next, the last bit is an open C, which is the uh, G string and the E string open. So you've basically got an F, the two threes, which is in fact uh, a C7. That's another F, but it's without any fretting fingers. And then you've got back to your C7, back to your F, and then fingers off. So there's basically four chords. So let's take a quick look at the finger positions uh, for this session. And as I said, there's only basically four um, finger positions that you need to go for. So the very first one on line one is the, the one, two, which is an F chord. So you've got your index finger on the second string, the E string, and your middle finger on the G string on the second fret. So you've got, uh, uh, so you'll be reading a one and a two here. So that's a, yeah, the three, three. You're gonna change up to these next two fingers, your middle and your ring finger, and you're gonna put your middle finger on the G string, third fret, and your middle, uh, your ring finger on the E string, third fret as well. Yeah, so that's basically the start of it would be. And you'll see this second finger here, this middle finger, doesn't come off, it just moves up and down. So it goes, yeah, so that's quite simple to do. And so the only difficulty you might find is on the line three, which is where you've got the second version of the one, two. So the first version is the F version. Then you've got the three, three. Then you've got off. And then you've got the same shape as an F, but moved up a string. So it moves up from the G string and the E string to the C string and the A string. So now you're on one and two. So one is on the top string on the A string and two is on the C string. And those are the fingers that you're using. So the only awkward um, chord that you might find is the three, three, where you change from using your first two fingers to your second finger and your third finger. Last bit on line four is where you've got the little two three on the G string and the C string. Again, that's these, these middle two fingers, your second finger and your third finger. You're gonna play some on the, on the third fret on the G string, second fret on the C string. So the, the fourth line will be. Hope that clarifies the fingering. And so this song, if you take line one, should sound like this. So you've got one, two, one, two, three, three, zero, zero, one, two, zero, three, three. And then the last note, I use my index finger to pluck it. So I've obviously pinched the three, three with my ring, uh, with my uh, middle finger and my thumb. And then I use my index finger to pick that last note. So let's have a listen to that again. So it should sound like this. Now 
notice I don't take my fingers off to play the next chord. I try and keep my fingers on the strings to make it ring. If I don't do that, it can sound a little bit like this. So in keeping your fingers down as long as you can and moving your fingers along, so from the one, two, one, two, to the three, three, at the right at the beginning of line one, I try and keep my second finger down on the G string, on the second fret, and I simply slide it up to the third fret and join it with the other third fret with my ring finger. So it will sound like So I'm sliding up, and I don't take those off when I play the zero, zero. So you get a ring on both sets of strings. If I don't do that, I'll end up with a dead part and then that part. So it's quite important to try and make the, song, the, the, the chords sing if you can. So in playing line one, it should be. Okay, line two. Should be the same thing, the one, two, and one, two. And then index finger, both fingers off. So it's one, two, sorry, one, two, one, two, three, three, zero, zero, one, two, pick with your index finger, off, pick. Last line. One, two, one, two, three, three, zero, one, two. So that's a different chord there. So it's a one on the uh, A string and two on the C string. So that's the first and the third strings. Then off, three, three, one, two. So it should be. And then last line, line four. So that's zero, zero. Pick with your index finger. Fingers two and three on your left hand. Zero, zero. One, two. Pick with your index. Pinch at the end. So all these are pinch chords. So if we start from the beginning, it should sound like this. Line three. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, have a practice and see how you get on. <laughs>